What is up guys? I'm Daddy Game my friend and welcome back to another Call of Duty Warzone video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the haunting event that's going on right now inside of Call of Duty Warzone and also going on inside of Black Ops Cold War. Now, in this haunting event, similar to the haunting of Verdance and every other Warzone event that we have, there are tons of challenges that we can do to unlock cool items and games like blueprints, watches, emblems, stickers, calling cards, and whatever. But there's also a brand new submachine gun that you can unlock, and that's pretty cool. This is a brand new weapon to the game. From what I'm hearing, people were saying it's pretty good close range sniper support stuff similar to pretty much every smg so if you want to try it out for free you can literally just complete all these challenges and have it added to your game or you could buy the blueprint associated with it in the store i believe let's jump to the store it should be here 1200 card points now i'm not gonna lie this blueprint does look fantastic with the gun the red oh my god it does look good but Again, until we actually have the gun in hand, we actually not gonna know if these are the best attachments, so you might not even have these attachments on the gun. With that said, to each his own, if you wanna just unlock it that way, you can do that. Or again, if you want to just jump in and do the Haunting of Verdance missions, you can do it that as well, and let's go over them here today. First things first, we got play five matches in the Ghost of Verdance playlist. Very easy to do, all you gotta do is jump into this Ghost of Verdance Limited time mode is going to say, of course, warning scares. Yes, yes, we're, we're fine with that. Jump into these five times. Now, you can jump in and exit five times and be a derelict. But, you know, just play five matches. If we're going to play five matches of the Ghost of a Dance, you should be able to grab this pretty easily. And, again, this gives you the blueprint right up front. Now, unfortunately for me, it's a sniper blueprint. I'm not too familiar with the snipers. I actually don't know what sniper this is. But, again... It's a sniper blueprint. I'm not going to be using it. But if you are, let me know in the comment section below. How do you feel about this? I'm, it, this doesn't tickle my fancy either way. Then we got to watch if you earn a top 10 final placement with your squad in the Ghost of Verdance playlist three times. So you got to be at least top 10 three times. Very easy to do for a watch. To be honest, I'm not, I don't really care what my character has on his wrist. So I'm never really looking at my watch. However, this does have the new frightening meter, the heart rate tracker on the watch. So you can see your heart rate when you look down on it. So that's pretty cool. Play five matches in the Ghost of Her Dance playlist. Eliminate 10 enemy ghosts in the Ghost of Her Dance playlist. And this gets you a weapon charm. I'm not too in level weapon charm so I, I don't really care which weapon charm i have on my gun or not the same thing with calling cards okay the next one is eliminate 10 enemy humans while playing as your operator in the ghost of her dance playlist so you just need 10 kills while you're still a human and the people that you killing have to be human as well and you get this emblem let me see this it's a spider web oh no 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 spider web reticle and I, i'm not a fan play five matches in the ghost of her dance playlist again very easy to do eliminate five enemy humans while playing as a ghost in the ghost of her dance playlist so you basically got to be a ghost and kill humans this one says as a ghost redeploy as your operator by collecting three souls or performing a finishing move on a standing crouching or prone enemy human so this is pretty cool pretty easy you just have to do this once and you get this i believe sticker this is a calling card it says use three scattered ground locations to reduce your fear meter in the ghost of her dance playlist and you get this calling card it says answer three phones in the ghost of her dance playlist I'll probably do a separate video on how you actually have to pick up these phones, how the phones work, just in case if it's more difficult than what it's saying here. And then experience three hallucinations while you have a full fear meter and a Ghost of Verdance playlist. And this gives you another emblem. And again, if you do all of these challenges, you will unlock the new Lapa SMG. I think it's called Lapa. I think that's how they call it. And then over on the Black Ops Cold War side of things, you can earn yourself this blueprint on a shotgun, which looks just like the blueprint on the sniper. And I'm not a shotgun player, so I don't know what shotgun this is. And I'm never going to use it, to be honest. 
To unlock the shotgun, you got to play and complete five matches in multiplayer or zombies on the haunting event playlist to get this watch. This watch actually looks pretty cool. I like the gold and purple. What is it tracking down? It says collect and sweet kill trick or treat watch. Note this watch as a functioning kill counter. Okay, cool. That's actually pretty neat. And you got to get 200 multiplayer eliminations in Nuketown Halloween 24-7 playlist or Smash Pumpkin Heads and Zombies. And we get a broom charm. It says finish top three in Scream Deathmatch or successfully exit fill in Hallow's Eve Outbreak. For this emblem, you got to get 30 multiplayer eliminations in Infected or Eliminate Special or Elite Enemies in Zombies. For this reticle, it says get 10 melee weapon kills in multiplayer or earn butcher medals in Zombies. 5 rapid melee kills. And let's see how this looks. No, 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 not using that. For the sticker, you gotta open five scare packages in multiplayer zombies. For this calling card, you gotta get 50 eliminations while using the ghost perk in multiplayer or kill enemies while cloaked in the Aether Shroud in zombies. I'm not too sure what's that. Is that a location in zombies? And maybe is this is an arcade game you can get you have to get three multiplayer kills without dying three times or earn carnage medals and zombies 10 rapid kills and this one is again exclusive to black ops cold war with the arcade games and then you have to get five multiplayer kills with fire damage or earn fire damage multi kills in zombie easy molotov and you can get fire damage that way and you need five in order to get this charm. And you get yourself the same Lapa SMG here in Black Ops Cold War. Again, depending on where you feel comfortable to complete all these missions, you could just jump in and do so. I would say they're probably easier in Black Ops. However, you do have to finish your matches in Black Ops. Do note that versus Warzone where you just have to just jump in for some of these challenges to complete. And you could just back out once you completed them, like got the kills or whatever. So to each his own, it really is up to you and whichever you feel comfortable in order to unlock this brand new SMG in the game. And again, it looks pretty cool. Again, there is a store bundle for this SMG if you're looking to unlock it that way. Either way, let me know what you think about this haunting of her dance event in the comment section below like always guys i answer all comments so let's have that conversation down there if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button i do videos like this every day talking call of duty fortnite mario pokemon wherever i feel like dropping the vibes on i drop it here on the channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving the videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one